Jesus said in Matthew chapter 6, when you fast. He didn't say if you fast. He said when you fast. Fasting is expected by the Lord. Every Christian should fast. Okay. Now, of course, there are a few exceptions. There are people who have medical conditions that they just can't fast. So, yes, absolutely you should First of all, clear this with your doctor. If you're going to have any kind of, um, you know, fast, if you're going to do anything like that, ask your doctor first, is it okay for me to do this? So having said that, God expects his people to fast. Isaiah chapter 58 makes it very clear. There are people who fast and while they fast, they continue to sin. They continue to mistreat one another. They continue to sin against God. And of course, that kind of fast means nothing to God. That's vain, okay? We don't want to fast like that. If we're going to fast, we want to do it the right way. Now, there are many different ways to fast. And most uh, popular is to fast food. Of course, when we say fast, it's normally fasting food. Sometimes it's food and water. Again, Ask your doctor before you do anything like this. Sometimes it's fasting, you know, uh, like social media. You can fast social media. Just don't go on social media for a period of time. You can fast television. You can fast um, all kinds of different things. But fasting is a way of denying ourselves. okay? When you fast, you are practicing very strict denying of yourself. You deny yourself of certain pleasures. And what we should do is we should always take those resources that we would otherwise use if we're not fasting and use that uh, for prayer and for blessing other people. You know, Jesus said in in one instance, when it comes to uh, casting out a certain kind of uh, evil spirits, he said, these kind do not come out except through prayer and fasting. So fasting gives that extra power to your prayer if you do it in the right way. This is one of the most uh, important things you should do. And one of the ways you can fast, and this is, we're going through right now, we're going through the the book of the Shepherd of Hermas. And it talks about this in the Shepherd of Hermas. And this is an absolutely ingenious idea. When you fast, let's say, for example, you fast one day of food. You take the time and the resources, the money, whatever, the work that you would do in preparing the food, whatever. Take the money in buying the food or if you go to a restaurant, whatever. You take those resources and you use those resources to bless other people. For example, if you spend normally, let's say $50 in eating every day. Let's just say that's what you spend every day in in eating. So you fast that food for one day and you use that $50 to bless someone who needs it. Wow, that is an awesome way to fast. That is fasting God's way. Instead of just fasting and, you know, abusing people or sinning against people while you fast, you fast and you use those resources to bless people. So fasting is a way of denying yourself. Fasting is a way of using that time and those resources to bless other people, or sometimes it might be just in prayer. You know, you may may spend two, three hours a day eating. Try taking that time in praying, in reading the scriptures. Instead of eating, do that. That's a wonderful way to fast as well. And of course, don't just read, but practice. And that's just a little heart-to-heart talk from me to you. Until next time, as always. Seek God with all your heart, and if you do, you will find him. What a glorious thing it is to find him. Call upon him, and he will. He says it. He promises. He will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.